Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll see how to create a standalone application or form in Excel using VBA macros. As an example we will create a mortgage calculator which can be used independently while Excel is hidden in the background. First we need to create the user form. So let's go to the Visual Basic Editor, insert a user form. I'm gonna call it mortgage form and we're going to change the caption to mortgage calculator now let's add several labels and text boxes for each of the fields and this will be the loan amount the interest rate percentage the loan term in years and the payments per year And finally, we will have the result, which is going to be the scheduled payment. And now we need two command buttons to calculate and to close the calculator. Let's make this bold and the text here red. And each of these fields is going to add a value here in the worksheet. So loan amount is going to come here in C2. Interest rate in C3. Loan term and payments per year. And finally, the schedule payment is going to be calculated in C6. Back to the form, let's rename the calculate button, calculate BTN and close button as well, close BTN. And when we click on calculate, we're going to add the values with mortgage form to range C2. It's going to be dot loan amount dot value range C3 is going to be dot interest rate. Here we have it value range C4 is going to be long term. And range C5 is going to be and finally the scheduled payment which is the result in the form is going to come from range C6 value and now let's go back to the worksheet and add the formula to calculate the mortgage payment. That's going to be minus PMT to get the positive number of the interest rate divided by the payments per year, comma, the number of payments, which is going to be the loan term multiplied times the payments per year and the loan amount. So let's add some numbers to see if it works. Yeah, there we go. So it is 
set as per currency, but I'm going to set it as general. So this could be dollars or euro or anything else. And this would be rather a percentage. And if you want to know more about that, check the post. I'm going to leave the link in the description and download the Excel mortgage calculator where you can see these and more details. You can also see the chart with the amortization table for a mortgage. Now let's go back to the form and before we test it, we need to divide this by 100 as that's the interest rate percent. And now if we show the form, so let's add a macro here to show the mortgage form and we say mortgage form dot show. Now we can add some values here. And here's the result. It has a lot of decimals. Let's cut on that. We round it by two decimals. And now to show that a standalone when the file is open, we need to add an event procedure for the workbook. When the file is open, we're going to call this procedure here, or we could write directly mortgage form show. That's the same. But before that, we're going to set the application visible to false. Thus, we will not see Excel. It will be in the background. Now, when we close the application, we want to make sure that we unload the form. And then we set the application back to true. But that is only necessary when there are other workbooks open. So if workbooks count is greater than 1, then yes. Then we will set the visibility to true. Otherwise, it's not necessary. And then we're going to close this workbook and save the changes. Another thing we're going to do is to add a label here to show the application while testing or if we just want to add that possibility. So show up and here application visible equals true. Okay, now we can save the application as a macro enabled. And when we open that again, now it opens as a standalone user form and we can enter the data and um, and calculate the mortgage payment. Then we can close it. And if we want to see the application again, we can click here in the show application link. It will show the application again. So please be aware that when you open this standalone application, it will hide any other Excel file. But when you close, it will show everything again. So that's how we create a standalone application or form in Excel using VBA macros. Thanks for watching.